And Japan, the nation that unveiled the first high-speed rail system, is already at work building the next, a, a line that will connect Tokyo with Osaka at speeds of over 300 miles per hour. So it's being done. It's just not being done here. And there's no reason why we can't do this. In this small hangar outside New York City, two modern-day Wright brothers are quietly at work building a machine that may seem as radical today as the airplane did a century ago. Gordon Danby and James Powell, retired scientists from Brookhaven National Laboratory, are finally creating what they have always dreamed of, a machine with no moving parts and no engine that can travel at fantastic speeds. Interesting applications. Maglev potentially can go any speed. It's levitated and it can go thousands of miles an hour. The crucial components to achieving that speed are these superconducting magnets now being readied for testing. Danby and Powell need these tests to succeed if this vehicle is to become America's first magnetically levitated train. These units at each corner and each unit would carry two magnets. Because once it's the key it's to Powell's through. idea was superconducting magnets. When a loop of superconducting material is cooled to a very low temperature, an induced electric current circulates endlessly, creating a powerful magnet. It can run for months on a single charge. And another thing to Powell knew he had the power to lift the train. He brought his idea to Danby, and together they conceived maglev. And then Gordon came up with the idea of inductive loops of aluminum in the guideway. And so we were off and running. In 1969, Powell and Danby received the first patent for a levitated train using superconducting magnets. A test vehicle using superconducting... The U.S. wasn't ready for maglev, but another country was. We realized that it had great potential. So did the Japanese, by the way, they immediately started coming and visiting us. In 1996, the Japanese opened the Yamanashi test track at the foot of Mount Fuji, based on Danby and Powell's design. And now, see. Transportation is fundamental to our society. Maglev is inevitable. It will happen. This is something that can be done, has been done, and can provide us enormous benefits.